Howdy champs! My name is Mohidan guys. So I'm going to show you how to insert um, inline frames or iframes in your HTML document using Expression Web 4. Uh, guys, uh, have a look out here. This folder out here, uh, which has been called Web Expression 1, is my root folder or my local site folder, and inside which it has two uh, more folders. Uh, the images in the widths folder obviously the images folder has uh, a couple of images out here okay uh, guys let me open up this uh, image for you and uh, see this image clearly says that the iframe tag let me zoom on it is supported in all major browsers and uh, the definition is that the uh, iframe or an inline frame is used to embed another uh, document within the current HTML document right see guys all the elements that you have in HTML can either be inline or they can be block level elements now what is the difference this is a concept that you need to understand very very clearly guys if you really want to advance um, you know from a beginner to an expert or an ad advanced user you should understand this difference very clearly now an inline element is an element which allows another inline element to sit next to it example is the image tag now an image will allow another image to sit uh, to its left or to its right right but there are other elements something like a div or a division which is a block level element now block le uh, level elements take up the entire width available do not allow another uh, block level element to sit uh, adjacent to them it will come under it or over it okay but cannot be uh, adjacent to it something like an h1 is uh, an example of uh, a block level element a paragraph block level element a span tag an inline element okay so two inline elements can be pally left and right but two block level elements uh, cannot sit uh, next to each other they do not tolerate uh, you know another uh, block le uh, level element next to each other so another block level element will not even allow an inline element to sit next to it by its very nature a block level element is narcissistic anyways so let's get back and uh, guys let's see how i can actually insert another document inside uh, your html uh, current document using uh, web expression 4 right guys the first thing that i'm going to do is let me go to site uh, let me go to recent size guys these are some of the sites that i have recently used let me go to web expression one it's already open in fact it's already chosen okay next guys what i'm going to do is i'm going to say right click out here see we are in the site view guys not only that guys if i go to panels let me show you the workspace is developer okay with auto hide all panels set to on okay first things first guys let me right click out here in the site view here at the top where it says uh, c colon users let me say new and then let me say html okay uh, guys you can notice that a new html site uh, sorry uh, yep a new html file has been generated and uh, web expression decides that the name should be default let me change it to a more appropriate name index right Uh, 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 you know there's a message which says I you want to uh, rename default to you want to rename the default.html which is fine let me say yes okay right now let me double click this file to open it up and guys you can actually have a look out here that I'm using the HTML5 doc type uh, this is the opening HTML tag. This is the closing HTML tag. We have the head opening and the closing out here, the body opening and the closing out here, and a meta out here. All right, guys. Clearly, uh, notice that we don't have the opening and the closing style tags. Right, uh, guys. I'm in the split view. All right, and uh, this is the code area, and this here at the bottom is the design area. First things first. Let me go to the toolbox out here on the right hand side. The moment I hover over this uh, toolbox component, it uh, flies open. Then I can go to this option out here and double click. The moment I do that, guys, have a look out here. A box 
is generated in the design area and this bit of code has been generated in the code area okay again guys have a look out here in the opening and the closing uh, head section of the web page we still don't have the opening and the closing style tags we don't have any Im embedded or an internal style yet okay now guys this is going to be uh, the inline or the uh, iframe for me okay just before that guys uh, let's say in line number nine let me also insert a picture insert picture let's say from file let me go inside my images folder and pull up my own image this is my image right let me give give it an alternate text so that's more th that's that's myself guys let me say okay all right guys just as i said one inline element actually allows another inline element to sit next to it adjacent to it and that is exactly what is happening out here let's let's uh, insert a br tag between the two in fact uh, in fact let it be the way it is right okay let me save the document up guys uh, the moment you see an asterisk out here at the top which means that you made changes to the file and you need to save it right click say save cool okay guys have a look out here we still don't have the opening and the closing uh, style tags inside the inside head of this uh, you know the document which means we still don't have any CSS file either internal or external now I'm gonna click on this box guys I'm gonna resize it let's say like this all right and the moment I do that guys have a look out here an opening style tag with the type attribute and a closing style tag have been generated not only that as you can see in line number seven a pound sign i1 style has been generated which says that the width is 855 pixels uh, that was decided uh, when i was actually resizing the iframe all right and guys have a look out here in line number 16 in the code area we have the opening iframe tag the closing iframe tag the id attribute the name attribute and a message which appears only if iframes cannot be displayed by your browser message says uh, your browser does not uh, support inline frames or is con uh, currently configured not to display the inline frames anyways this message won't appear guys unless and until there's a problem with the browser right now guys what I need to do is I need to click on this button which says set initial page okay now guys uh, as per the definition I can uh, embed another document in the current document okay I can either embed a, an HTML file that's already present in my root folder or I can call an external file let's say my website which is HTTP colon forward slash forward slash quality lessons dot net I'm calling an external web page and let me say okay next guys you'll notice that uh, inside the iframe it's fetching my website all right and then what I need to do is I just need to click outside the iframe area let's say out here okay and to further customize it what I need to do is I need to go to line number 16 where I have the opening uh, iframe tag let me highlight this bit this much all right and then I can right click and I can go to tag properties out here guys let's say I would want to give it a title as well so let me say quality tutorials right let the alignment be left let me say I don't want the borders to show up as well as I wouldn't would never want the scroll bars to appear right and uh, I'm happy with the message that uh, expression web for displays for me I'm gonna keep that message okay I don't want to disturb the width and the height because they've already been set up through the I1 style the pound sign which says that the width is 855 I'm happy to uh, you know stick to that uh, width let me say okay but let me just increase the height just that little bit yep right 
and uh, when I was actually resizing the iframe window you, you can notice guys that the height property also appears inside the opening and the closing style tags uh, in the pound sign i1 rule let me save the document and let me take a view inside the browser by hitting f12 the shortcut key on my keyboard there goes so guys as you can notice that was the typewriter effect on my website qualitylessons.net so guys uh, you would have noticed that iframes are basically inline frames and they allow another inline element like an image to appear next to it all right guys so it's it's pretty easy and pretty effective to do it uh, through web expression for love that software guys so guys i hope you like this tutorial um, I hope you learned something from it and I hope to see you very soon with yet another Dreamweaver web expression for or Flash or Action Script 3 tutorial. You have a good day guys. Bye bye. Peace.